this system is more powerful than we even predicted earlier. Right now, we've seen a pickup strength, currently seeing those steady winds at 90 miles per hour. It is now forecasted to be a Category 2, let me say that again, a Category 2 hurricane overnight tonight, making a direct landfall here in the Outer Banks. That will be between this evening and the early hours of tomorrow morning. Right now, where is the system? It's about 90 miles offshore of Charleston, South Carolina, but it's making its way up the coast. So what you're going to be seeing is these conditions deteriorating. If you look around right now, I mean, it's a beautiful day. So many people are here for the 4th of July. They're enjoying the sunshine. Unfortunately, a lot of people continue to go in the water. This is a strong concern for us. These very strong rip currents are here ahead of the storm, during the storm, and after the storm. But again, conditions will deteriorate this evening. Where does the storm go after that? It's expected to make landfall at 100 miles per hour, but then it quickly moves off to the northeast, staying south of the northeast. But if you look at the far western portion of the track, we could see those impacts out towards Cape Cod on the evening of the 4th of July. Then it still makes its way over to Halifax. It does hit colder waters, though, so there would be what we call a remnant low. It just deteriorates as it goes over Halifax. But so much to be concerned with, guys, with things really expected to change, especially as each model run really intensifies the system.